Hello again and welcome to another smart car video. On the last video we left with this strange noise. Four months ago when I drained the fluid it had no metallic particles, but this time it does and this bearing retainer piece fell out when I drained it. So I ordered a new transaxle. Let's hope this fixes it. Here we are again using this bar to support everything. We are supporting the AC motor. I took everything out this time just to get the transaxle out. I left the CV axles in. I just popped them out of the retainers. So this is the left side mount. The torque strut and the right motor mount. Here we have the drive inverter, the motor, and the old transaxle. Let's turn to it. Okay, we found the problem, not sure why, but this bearing failed. Completely shot. So let's unwrap the new transaxle and get it installed. We start with that bolt in the bottom on the front motor mount, leave the top one out. Then you can pivot the tranny up. It's not very heavy, you can lift it by hand. Then I set it on a bottle jack. Start this bolt. Then you got another one up here. Then there's these two. It's a German car. So the torque specs are guten tight. Like that. Okay. Guten tight. And then you got the shifter bracket. And you got one, two, and the third one up there. The motor isn't heavy, but it's easier to position with a jack. Just 
Just adjust the height until the spline slides right in. There are six bolts. Start all by hand. Three from below. Three are easier to get from the top. And tighten those all up in a cross pattern. And here we have the park sensor plug. And two motor coolant hoses. But first we need to get this motor mount located and tightened. There are four bolts on this bracket. There's two easy to get from the bottom. And two from the top. And this one, has the wire harness is kind of in the way. She can work around it. And tighten all four of those. Next we have the brake vacuum pump. It mounts with three bolts with an E10 socket. Then the coolant diverter valve mounts with two bolts, again with an E10 socket. Now we have the drive inverter base plate. It mounts down here with four bolts. There's a motor wire bracket on this first bolt. I'll install it later once I get all of them lined up. Don't tell the Germans, but a 3 8 12 point fits an E12 perfectly. You can use the 3 8 like here where a socket can't fit. Works handy. The shift linkage. Drop the inverter down through here, just be very careful with this AC switch, but it will fit right between there. Got the battery cable.
these two long bolts down in the front. Two your shorter bolts go down there in the back. There's a little E10 bolt that mounts the AC hoses to the inverter bracket. It's down here, kind of hard to get to. This goes to the air conditioner. Snaps in. The data cable. Next, we will remount the DC charger. It has four bolts. Two on the bracket to the transmission and two on the right side. This top one is really hard to get to. Then we have the inverter coolant lines with tension clamps. Both top and bottom. Attach the negative ground wire to the side of the inverter. the positive battery wire to the post. Plug in the drive inverter. The AC sensor. And the compressor. Now push the motor plug down below. It's a T40. And then I 
have this really cool ratchet, a little quarter inch drive on the side, takes a quarter inch hex. You can just slip them right in there. For short, low profile. These are long winded bolts, tight all the way, too. This little bracket holds the motor wires. There is a stud down here, a small nut with a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, now we are under the car. We have two plugs on the motor. And the main power plug has a cam lock lever. Snap it in place. Got the battery cable. Goes up there. There's one more of these brackets with another one of these little nuts that goes on the cable. There's a stud right there. Okay, the battery plug is tight. We put the splash shield back up. It has one push pin clip. Now we fill up the gear oil. Tighten the fill plug and connect the car's battery. It's back and it's quiet. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to help this channel out.